Hey, it's Ellie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be doing a what's in my church bag. But first, yes, you guys, I got this freebie cup from Watson's. Anyway, so let's talk about the bag itself. Okay, so this is a canvas tote bag that I got from Uniqlo. It comes in three different colors. It comes in this one. It comes in this one with a brown bottom and it comes in black. But according to my mom, they're like not in stores anymore because my mom really wants this bag. Kaso yun nga, parang hindi na siya binibenta. I don't know. But you can always look it up online or if you have a different branch near you, you can always check those out and see. I gotta be honest, this is not your average priced tote bag, okay? This is Uniqlo and so because of the quality of it, which is really good, the price is gonna be a little bit higher than what you averagely pay for when it comes to tote bags. But it's so good because it is so specific. It's big, but it's not bulky. It has pockets. It has a zipper. It's literally she's thick and so are the straps like the straps She's thick. Anyway, the first thing that I want to start out with is something that I don't necessarily put inside of my bag Because it may be a little heavy, but it's my Bible and this is the first thing that I will always always bring with me obviously when it comes to church and for those who are asking once and for all, this is the She Reads Truth Bible, okay? This is in the Christian Standard Version, so CSB, Christian Standard Bible. And if you guys want other ideas of other versions that I find good when it comes to reading the Bible, I can link down my last video because I talked about that a little bit. This is my baby. This is my best friend. This is my everything. So that is the first thing that I'm going to bring with me, obviously. Sometimes I put it inside the bag. Sometimes it gets a little too heavy. So I just kind of carry it. Okay, we're going to open this up. Next, we have this. This is a clear case, a clear envelope. Pala. And everything that I put in here are like loose papers because I am the kind of person who likes taking notes on every single little piece of paper like I would write on the back of a receipt if I could on a napkin on like random post-it notes Basta yung mga maliliit na loose papers I just like putting them inside here like I could show you like a bunch of separate papers and these are all like Bible notes church notes sermon notes sometimes you just want to write on a separate piece of paper you know what I mean second of course I have my pencil case it's just this mauve pink pencil case it's mesh nothing much to it it just has all of my writing materials for when I read the Bible one thing that I will highlight in my pencil case are these gel highlighters now I had to buy new ones okay hold on I just bought new ones they just came in yesterday because the original ones that I bought they are out of stock, but honestly, I think these ones are better. And the reason why I like these so much better for Bible reading is because they don't bleed through the Bible. And you guys know, hold on, if you read your Bible, you know how thin these pages are. And so if you use like your regular marker highlighter, they're gonna bleed through. I don't want that. I don't like that. Okay, next, of course, I have my iPad. And this is my baby, honestly. This is my second baby after my Bible. Because as you guys know from my previous videos, you see me using this during my Bible studies. I love having this, especially when I'm reading the Bible because I use the Bible app. Yes, I could use my phone, but the thing is I like using the parallel feature in the Bible app. Let me show you. This is what I do. So one side is NLT, one side is AMP, which is the two other versions that I use besides my own Bible. And I like having them side by side. So if I did that on my phone, the screen would be too small, which is why I love my iPad. I can easily just have two different versions side by side and I have to have this with me. And also, plus, this case. Can we take a second? It's a keyboard case, okay, with also a little trackpad here. This is actually a dupe for Apple's Magic Keyboard. Do you mind searching up the price of Apple's Magic Keyboard real quick? Yeah, not so student-friendly, right? So I'm so happy that I have this case because it is literally the same thing. If I didn't tell you that this was a dupe, you probably would have thought that this was the Apple Magic Keyboard. And it works like a charm. It's a Bluetooth keyboard with a trackpad. The only downside is that it's really heavy. Okay, moving on. Of course, you gotta have a notebook. This has been my notebook since the beginning of the year. I actually started using this as a journal at first. This was a journal at first and honestly guys if you read what's in the first few pages 
it's really embarrassing because this was like pre-spiritual transformation. So all of my journal entries, they're just so worldly. Like you could obviously tell by what I was writing that I was not thinking about my spiritual life as much as I do now. It's just all me, 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 my goals, what I want. Then I started using it as a spiritual notebook, you know, for Bible study notes, for sermon notes, for realizations, and times where I felt like, you know, Yahweh was talking to me. I love them here, honestly. This notebook holds the story of my spiritual transformation it's crazy i remember reading this to my sister and we were both like oh my gosh what was i thinking before like i can't believe that i used to live a life where my spiritual life wasn't the priority okay another thing in my bag is this empty mentos box <laughs> but it's because i always keep mentos or any kind of candy really when I am attending church because when it gets to the sermon when it gets to like almost the end of the service we all know this we start to get so hungry and so I always want to make sure that I have some kind of candy inside of my bag so I can kind of suppress the hunger for a little bit longer so always have candy guys next of course I have my wallet which I can't show you there you go there's my wallet, guys. This is my everyday wallet. I bring this wallet with me all the time because you can see how slim that is. Okay, it's not because there's no money in it, okay? There's money in it. It's just so slim. And so you can easily fit this in a small bag, in a big bag, in a clutch purse. So I always like using this particular wallet. Even though I have other really, really cute wallets with cute prints and everything, I can't get myself to use them because they're just so chunky and so thick. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This is just what I prefer for on the go. Okay, another thing is my Kikai kit. Usually after lunch, I start feeling really crusty. Like I feel like haggard na itsura ko. I need to freshen up a little bit and so I bring my Kikai kit with me. Obviously, I don't have to go through this one by one. It just has the essentials. It has a little touch-up powder and I guess you could also include like my perfume and also... <gasps> And also my super cute strawberry lotion. Look how cute this is. I saw this at Watson's and I just immediately fell in love. Look how cute. It's pink. It has strawberries. I'm sold. I am sold. But yeah, I always need to have this with me just in case I need to touch up. Next in my bag, of course, you always gotta have hand sanitizer. This is the only alcohol spray that I use, okay? This is alcohol spray by Fresh in the flavor or in the scent peach mango. They only have two of these that come in like this bottle. It's the peach mango one and the pink one, which is mixed berries, but I really prefer this one. This one just smells so good and so fresh. Always gonna have this. Next is this mini electric fan. You guys have seen this again and again and again, and I will never stop recommending it. Sometimes it can get really, really hot in church. I don't know why, even though there's aircon, it can easily get so hot. Maybe it's because I move around a lot and also I'm wearing like a really thick cardigan most of the time. It can get pretty hot, but it's a fan, a flashlight, a flashlight, and also it's a power bank. It's a three-in-one and it's honestly the best, probably 600 pesos I've ever spent. You know what guys, it's worth it. It's a three-in-one, you can't really go wrong with this. Guys, I'm gonna be linking everything below. Okay, and lastly, I have my power bank and my charger case. There's just nothing else to say. I mean, at the end of the day, after everything's done, after the service, after the Bible study, your, or at least my gadgets are all drained, like my phone, my iPad, and so I always need to have a power bank. This also supports, uh, what's this called, MagSafe, so you can charge it wirelessly, you can charge it via USB or Type-C, and then my charger case, this is actually one that I got from Miniso, and it just holds all of my chargers in one place because I hate it when all my wires get mixed up. It's all in there. You can just pop it in and you're done. So that is all that's in my church bag. I hope it gave you guys an idea of what maybe you could bring to church. I know this definitely varies depending on how active you are in church. Obviously, you guys can bring whatever you need. The most important thing you bring is your heart, your mind, and your Bible, and that's all I gotta say. Again, if you guys are interested in the bag, this is from Uniqlo. I'm not sure if they still sell this, but you can always take a picture of it. Guys, can I just say how important it is 
to bring a physical Bible instead of using a Bible app because before I would only rely on the Bible app but you know what I realized is iba talaga kapag physical copy ng Bible ang hawak mo it just I just feel like it means more compared to an app on your phone okay I just like using the app on my phone as a reference but it's not the main thing that I use I, I gotta use this baby right here I love it. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'm Ellie, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!